Hi guys, today I'm going to be discussing whether or not you can run a quad-core processor in the HP EliteBook 8530W. So I was supposed to finish making this video back in 2017, but I just never got around to doing it. Also, I have other videos to do with this laptop too, if you're interested, so uh, the links are in the description. Keep in mind that this is now a 10-year-old laptop, so there are better options out there to buy, so um, don't do this. To run a quad-core processor in this laptop, you really need the quad-core variant of it. Although the chipset supports it, the motherboard just isn't built to work with a um, more powerful quad-core. The quad-core model has a better motherboard, heatsink and fan with a slightly different shaped chassis. You see the website link in the description which explains everything in better detail. I'm just explaining in simple terms what's been discussed and other people's experiences with this issue. I read that someone has tried upgrading the motherboard, heatsink and fan into the dual-core model chassis but the keyboard would not fit back on because of the larger heatsink. I also read that quad-core motherboard has an extra capacitor by the CPU socket to help with running the processor. It's also due with power delivery which is why it just doesn't work properly in the dual-core model. So the only thing to do to make the quad-core work better in this motherboard is to pin mod it so you can undervolt it. Um, we could call the surrounding components or add the missing components which a quad core variant has. Or you could just buy the quad core model if you're not into all that modding and all that sort of thing. So now I'm going to show you what happened when I tried to use a quad core in my 8530W. So I'm using a Core 2 Quad Q9100 which runs at a clock speed of 2.26 GHz. So firstly the heatsink. With this dual core model heatsink there's an outline of the quad-core processor dies. It just manages to cover the two dies of the processor as it's essentially two cores glued together, so to speak. So here are the videos which are shot in 2017 where I tested this out. Is this load default? Save changes and exit. So it works, but it doesn't. Right. See now. Let's hope it gets past this stage, but I don't think it will. See if this works. We're in. We're in. Obviously, the fans will be going quite a lot more because it's it's got a much higher TDP processor. We'll have to check task manager. No, CPU Z or device manager actually. So I've got this crappy loud keyboard which doesn't work properly. Device manager. Ah. Okay. See, it gets to this point, and then it, and then it will come into a problem. I'm gonna try and quickly get into device manager. Sorry. Oh. Uh. We're in. Look at that. I 
put it on power save. Let's have a look. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just I'm just trying to game. Uh, we've got MSI Afterburner on. You can see we've got we've got the uh, four cords there. So quite low temperatures. GPU. So here we have the Q100, which is the MNG drive. It's just the game, it's, which requires really a core core to run. Um, I don't know how this is actually turned on to and got this far at the moment. I'm just going to try a simple grid map. See what happens. Hopefully, it loads the map so we can see the actual score. Okay, so, and there's an SSD in here. I think I've said before it's working. The mouse is working, but it's not actually got. It's not loading yet. Oh, it says 100%. I don't know if that was. Oh, doing something. I really hope this loads. The problem with this is that it's the GPU. Ah, uh, it's the GPU which is a bottleneck usually. And it is. The GPU is bottleneck in it. Let's turn the sound up. Oh, I don't think the sound works. Oh well. The point is, let's see. Let's have a look at this while I drive forward. Oh, I can't turn. Damn it. Okay, it's frozen. Yeah, the hard drive, the SSD. It's going to be locked up. Okay, so to conclude, I think so I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap it back to uh, to my Q90. I don't know, I'm going to swap it back to my T9600, a normal dual core, and then do that. Okay, so that's my results on testing a quad core on the 8530W. It's up to you whether or not you try this, but I wouldn't recommend it. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, but I could have put more time into it, but I didn't feel the need to do it with this type of video, but let me know what you think anyway, comment on any future videos you'd like me to make, and please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, and I'll see you in the next video.